Hi, it's Mary Beth Shaw. Welcome to my vlog. So, a couple months ago, I did a vlog about moving my encaustic studio back here to my house. And we've kind of got it. I've kind of got it organized. I haven't worked here yet, and that will be the final thing. Because you know how it is when you work in a new space, you end up switching stuff around all the time. So I'll show you what we've got. This is a piece of furniture under here that is the bottom part of an old china cabinet that we weren't using. So I put a hollow core door on top of it and it's just sitting there. And then this is a ceramic tile and my encaustic palettes on top of that. Now we have some venting and I'm just gonna say it's probably gonna be changed around. It seems a little cumbersome for me I'm not quite sure how it's all going to work, but it comes out of this very robust exhaust fan down here. So it's a good thing. It's just we need to organize it a little bit better. Um, so what do I have then? I have a kind of hot pot thing that I put my encaustic medium in when I'm working. And then I would mix, mix my colors over here. And I have some other things. This is the heat gun. This is a little baby iron that I am dying to try. It's really cute. And then this hot wax art stylus. I remember buying this a while back and I don't even think I've used it yet. I think it might have some real potential for stencils and encaustics. Yes, yes, yes. And then over here, I've got extra supplies and some clay boards and encaustic boards and pigments. I love using pigments and I'm hoping to get back to some of that. I bought a lot of those when I was in Europe and it would be really exciting to make some of my own colors with them. So this is pretty much it, the encaustic area. I don't really think I need a lot of room because when you do encaustics you're pretty much you know, a slave of the palette anyway, because it's all heated and um, to fix it and so forth, you have to heat it. I do have some cold wax pieces that I started over here. These were, oh my gosh, old from a class I took from Lisa Pressman, who's a wonderful teacher. She loves using our stencils with her encaustics and with cold wax, so that's kind of fun. But I guess that's about it. I hope to get back to encaustics very soon and then offer you guys a demo using stencils and encaustics. If you have any questions for me, I would love for you to ask them because that's a ask me anything kind of deal. And if I pick your question, you get a gift card for Stencil Girl products. So ask me anything. This is Mary Beth Shaw from Stencil Girl Products.